the smash go kill what's on Baby, you're too guy, you have love us like Tell you don't want to Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Let's Talk Toys. As always, I am your host, Dave Wonder. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Monday or whatever day you're watching this. Um, got a few quick housekeeping things to take care of before we dive into some toy news and toy conversation. First off, I do want to give a quick shout out to all the COJ already chiming off in the chat. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Thank you for coming by this fine, fine evening. We got Josh in there. Ben, Kevin O'Bing, Shakes the Clone. What up, Mr. Jones? Congratulations on that screen printing gig. It's a good time. Uh, what up, Fornit? We got Phantom Crow in there, Josh Bear, Josh Brown. Uh, we got Brio. Hey, Brio, much love, dude. Um, uh, we got Hoodlum in there, Deku Mido. What up, Deku? How's it going, Pender? Forgiven Bros. Pender also chiming back in with some sweet, sweet emotes. Oh, look at that, rocking out some music. What up, Masters? We missed you too, my friend. Uh, Gilgamesh, what's shaking? How's it going, Brian? What up, 3M, Northern Nomad? Grizzly Horn, the mighty Mitch. Hi, Mitch. Uh oh, wait, it's not Monday. Am I a day off? No, it's Monday. Stop it. Um, <laughs> thank you, Josh. Mr. Jones got Kirby last week at Target and got a second one on the way. Nice. Uh, what up, comics? I'm I'm kind of with you. What up, Wizard of Toys? How's it going, Jamie? Don't worry, you worry. We'll be getting to that. So, a few quick things. First off, I apologize if I'm a little off. Uh, I suffered from some food poisoning this weekend. I literally just was able to hold down food for the first time in over two days, uh, just a couple hours ago. So I apologize if I'm a little slow moving and if I'm a little low on energy. I'm trying real hard right now. Um, secondly, uh, if you are getting Dave Wonder merchandise or COJ merchandise or Griff Ryder merchandise, please only pick it up from Pro Wrestling Tees or Redbubble. Uh, we've been getting a ton of bootlegs uh, popping up online, unfortunately. Uh, which sucks. So uh, again, prowrestlingtees.com slash Dave Wonder or redbubble.com slash people slash Dave Wheeler, I think. Although I'm slowly migrating stuff down from there and we'll be popping it up on Pro Wrestling Tees anyways. Uh, just wanted to give y'all a heads up on that. I appreciate each and every one of your support, uh, whether it be just watching a like, a comment, a subscribe, a Patreon membership, a donation to Extra Life, whatever it may be. I really, really appreciate y'all. Please, please know from the bottom of my heart, I love each and every one of you. Um, except you, Spike. I'm just messing with you. Um, I had to res when they can. Uh, those aren't even Mitch's bootlegs. People are buying air. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm on the mend. I'm going to do my best here. It might be uh, kind of short-lived, but I am planning tomorrow night, Chop and Shop, post-show, I will be over on Discord for probably about a half hour. Might be bringing on a few of uh, the guests from there, too, uh, if I can get them to. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, Jamie Lynn, no, this is uh, from Roosevelt. This is available right now. Um, very, very comfy. Very, very stretchy. It's a sublimated print. Um, I really dig it. So make sure to check it out. Um, unfortunately, not sponsored or anything, but uh, they make really good stuff, and you should go check them out. Uh, if you want to see us, you know, the channel sponsored, let them know. Um, yeah, forgive me, it's, it's bogus, but who knew? Uh, wait, <laughs> surprise, Ingram. Also, hi, Ingram. You got the hoodie? Damn it, just waiting on my side. It'll, it'll come, my friend, it'll come. Uh, Roosevelt stuff is great, I agree. Um, big shout out to Roosevelt for making cool shit like this. Um, again, they also have sales regularly, so watch for those discount codes. Uh, and again, if you want to see the channel sponsored, let them know because then hopefully I could get a discount code and share with y'all. Um, anyways, let's go into some toy news. Uh, some new, some old, some that you can buy right now, uh, such as these, I should point the right way, uh, right here, the Chases. 
of Alapex and Rat King from the IDW Best Action line. Uh, a glow-in-the-dark Rat King and a red variant of, I believe it's the blue, normally blue, blue bluish-purple Alapex uh, coloring. Uh, so pretty damn cool looking. Um, again, looks like same sculpt. Just like color variations. Again, these are showing up on Target shelves right now. Uh, so make sure to check that out. Uh, then popping over, uh, coming from Power Town Wrestling, uh, who have released their Legends of Wrestling, and uh, soon the Major Brothers, or the Major... Well, not the Major... They're not the Major Brothers, but uh, Matt Cardona and Brian Myers, two-pack, coming soon. Uh, they are releasing TNA action figures of uh, Eddie Edwards, Josh Alexander, Moose, and Jordan Grace. Um, the cool thing is you have your current uh, World Heavyweight title, uh, title holder, you have your current Women's title holder, um, and two legendary talents in their own right in Josh and Eddie. Um, I guess those got out of order. God dang it. Um, a little movie maniacs in there. Didn't mean for these to get in there. Sorry about that. Um, but, uh, we have Neo and we have Trinity again, coming with those mystery accessories. Um, likenesses aren't that great, but there they are. Oh man, Pender, you saw the pair today. Dang. I got to find an Alapex cause I want to get two cause I want to make an, a second Alapex into Ninjara. Um, man, I really got these out of order, but that's okay. Uh, some in-package shots of Prince Adam and Cringer. Uh, we saw these figures, uh, in prototype phase a while back. Uh, so pretty dang cool, uh, to see these, uh, starting to show up in package. Um, I like that it also emphasizes 80s adventure. Um, and you do get that mm, good times, uh, Prince Adam head. Just a couple of quick shots of the packaging as well. Um, again, these are all those kind of classic, cl classic, yeah, like I said, sorry, folks, a little off tonight. Uh, kind of the classic imagery that you'd expect to see from this. Of course, Cringer cowering behind Prince Adam as well. Uh, and they're maxing and relaxing. I believe this is the image from the backer card. Uh, popping over to Hot Toys, we have the Armored Batman 2.0. Again, they're clocking along with their BBS 2.0. Um, this time it is your armored Batman, uh, whoa, totally based on the Frank Miller design. Um, this one with better articulation, better sculpt, better base, uh, and better face plates to, uh, better illustrate your Ben Affleck in a giant tin can action. Um, after getting to handle the OG one of this, I'm hoping that this one has a little bit more weight to it and has a little bit more substantial, um, measure in the in the uh, actual joints because that initial one was a little fragile feeling shall we say uh popping over to uh back to todd mcfarland toys um this is a batman spawn crowdfund for a batman spawn crossover uh statue um i don't i don't know about this one uh again this is based on that iconic cover of batman spawn number one um, and overall, it looks cool. We've already gotten figures of these uh, from the multiverse line. This one will be just a gigantic statue with gigantic capes. Um, so this one is better? Maybe? I think it looks better. Um, there's something off with that Batman, though. It looks like his eyes are too far forward or something. Um, but again, this will be crowdfunded, uh, much like the first Spawn figure uh, was. Um, and can't believe a crowdfund is sold out in no time. Yeah, um, I... I feel like this could have been done through Sideshow. I don't think a crowdfund was necessary, but leave it to Toddy Mac to pave new routes to get people's money. Um, what up, Mixie? How's it going? Just Borton says, just a random thought. Uh, those capes would explode if that thing ever fell off the shelf. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Stoked for those who want it. Uh, moving over to the Cowboys of Moo Mesa. Um, again, these are from Nacelle Toys. Um, these were debuting... When did they debut these? Uh, we saw prototypes... Hold on. I think I left up. Oh, darn it. I believe these debuted initially. We saw the kind of announcement for them a while back. Was that Toy Fair? Yeah, I'm blanking. Uh, they did, however, make their debut in Toy Collector Magazine. If you're a fan of toy collecting, make sure to check out Toy Collector Magazine. Fantastic articles by fantastic people and produced by awesome folks as well. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see if I can find this. Uh, so uh, you have Marshall Moo, Man blah, 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 Moo Montana. You have Calamity Kate and Sheriff Terrible. 
because nothing says I have faith in the law like terrible. Um, these are sick looking. Again, the sculpts very much on point, very much in line with their um, Biker Mice from Mars line. Um, so pretty dang cool. Uh, they listened and ditched the ball hips. Yeah, I don't... Hmm, I'm not quite sure if they ditched them or if they're just hidden behind a rubber overlay. Um, but there you have Sheriff Terror Bowl. Um, looking big, looking beefy. Again, pretty damn surreal that these are coming to toy shelves in 2024. Um, but pretty cool all the same. Again, a vast array of accessories, way more than I thought they'd come with. A couple guns, a couple smoke effects, a little sarsaparilla, uh, those um, handcuffs, the very, very cartoony TNT and alternate head sculpt, as well as alternate hands. Uh, Mike Tyson fight. Dude, it was tight, right, Northern Man? It's good stuff. Um, then po popping over to Cow Lamity Kate. Um, she's looking fantastic again. She has her grapple gun, her lasso, as well as that gigantic cannon back there, which I am still unclear of if that comes with her or if that's going to be like a, you order the whole set, uh, and you get it as a bonus. Um, again, she comes with her giant sword, uh, both guns, uh, the manacles, uh, as well as her trumpet gun and her lasso. Then lastly, uh, the sheriff, again, the iconic superhero, or not superhero, the iconic hero of the whole series. Again, there's four of the main crew, as I recall, um, but this is your leader of the whole big band. Um, and uh, where'd the image go? I don't know. But Montana comes with, again, his guns, a couple of firing effects, no smoke effects for him, but um, yeah, looking very cool. Also like that he comes with his harmonica. It's pretty dang sweet. But again, this giant gun, I'm not quite sure on the details of that. I apologize uh, if I missed the information on that, but pretty damn cool looking. Mr. Quick 420 says, man, I saw on Facebook that the Loose Collector Wolves are releasing in May. Man, that's going to be expensive by them all, for them overall. Yeah, man. Uh, Loose Collector's got some expensive shit, but man, they produce cool stuff. These will also go with your AWOC figures. Indeed, they will, Forgivens. These look cool, but I wish they looked... Like the old toys just with more articulation. Man, I mean, these look dead on to the animation, though, which, again, it's that trade-off. Do you want them to look like the source material, or do you want them to look like the vintage toy? It's kind of taken a little from column A, a little from column B, in my opinion. It would have been cool to get uh, kind of that OG revival, but at the same time, I'm not going to I'm not gonna scoff at these. These look fantastic. Um, popping over, speaking of looking fantastic, uh, to Mondo, uh, this time with some eight inch, uh, essentially vinyl figures of Daria and Jane. Um, again, they will stand at eight inches tall. There will be two versions as per usual with Mondo. Uh, you will have your Mondo timed edition and your standard edition. Um, the time, this is the standard edition, as I recall. Um, so slightly swappable arms, so you can have them independent or you can have them intertwined. A uh, pair of alternate glasses uh, for Daria, as well as alternate face sculpts. Um, you also get the Mystic Spiral album with the CD player, uh, which is pretty damn cool looking. And if that wasn't enough, uh, there is also the Uber exclusive timed edition with alternate head sculpts, uh, in addition to a buttload more accessories, uh, including uh, Jane's Flipping the Bird, um, which is pretty damn cool. Um, again, Mondo's absolutely killing it with this. Uh, type of stuff, and I don't know, these are spot on, and quite literally everything that I would want from Daria action figures, so um, pretty cool to see. Did not have Daria on my 2024 bingo card. I don't think anybody did, to be quite honest. Um, I do also enjoy that you get the Telltale Heart, Telltale Heart uh, copy, as well as Jane with the, I believe it's hair dye in her, or not hair dye, bleach in her hair. Um, woo! Moving on uh, to the fighting armor, Sam Wilson, Captain America. Again, it's fighting armor. It's the same parts swapped around with a couple new bits and bobs on there. Um, again, we're getting that classic cap shield. Would have been cool if we would have gotten Sam's exclusive sculpt. But, you know, reuse is the name of the game here. Um, cool wings, cool color scheme, cool articulation. Uh, nothing we haven't seen before from the other releases, um, but an exciting addition to the line. Uh, popping over back over to McFarlane, uh, this time with the Future's End uh, Joker uh, slash Batman Beyond figure. I believe this was the Collect and Connect figure uh, for that Batman Beyond line that took like a year to come out. Uh, what up, Smunkin? How's it going? 
Uh, I'm not not too sure about this one. Uh, again, uh, it's the glow in the dark variant. Um, will be available through McFarlane Toys. It's big, it's beefy. You can swap the head from Batman to Joker really, really easily. Uh, comes with the exclusive card and the robotic wings. But there you go. If you didn't want to wait a year, you could wait. Oh God, is that three years now? Is that two years ago? And you can just buy this one. Uh, but there's uh, an example of the reversible head. Again, not quite sure on this one. For those that want it, awesome. Uh, popping over to Haya Toys, uh, this is the six-inch Daryl Dixon figure. Um, again, we saw these, I believe, in grayscale uh, a while back. Um, comes with cloth, a bunch of cloth goods, a bunch of alternate hands. Of course, his crossbow, um, his shotgun, his spear, his bag of oh, stuff, uh, as well as his base. It does look like the base has been swapped out to a more standard base, which is kind of interesting. Uh, that's a bad head. Oh, hi, Dave. Another Joker variant from McFarlane. Indeed. Like McFarlane, but the glow in the dark figs are just ways to reuse. Yeah, yeah, they are. That's a bad head, indeed. I don't know. I I thought this face sculpt was actually pretty good. Uh, specifically, this one. I'm not used to seeing uh, him in a smiling expression. Uh, but yeah, uh, available for pre-order right now. Uh, then we're gonna dive into some Marvel Legends. In case you didn't know, there was a Marvel Legends uh, stream earlier today, uh, and as always, the boys came out swinging. Um, a little peek ski at everything that was coming out. Um, but uh, there were surprises kind of across the board. Again, they're going into that Marvel 85th anniversary theme. Again, playing off of also the 50th anniversary, I believe, of Wolverine, um, as well as a few others. Um, my most excited uh, one, of course, was for Dan Ketch. Again, uh, something that we've greatly needed. I believe the Toy Biz release of Dan Ketch was almost 20 years ago at this point. Um, so it's really, really exciting to see this one coming to the line. Hoodlum says, no Isaiah Bradley, but I'm stoked for everything. Man, an Isaiah Bradley, like an official release, would be badass. Uh, I agree. But this Dan Ketch, very badass. Again, that tease that we got of that fire accessory, uh, not for the Phoenix, as it turns out. It's actually for Dan Ketch to pop a wheelie. Um, badass looking uh, flat faced bike as well. Although I always thought these were supposed to be headlights from the comics. Um, so I might be doing a little custom job for that one. Um, very, very excited for this one. There is that Akira, uh, Akira swerve um, going on. I also enjoy that his hubcap does indeed have a little paint app on it to add that little, little, little extra bit. Dude Retro said, just started collecting Ghost Rider comics. So I need this nice. Um, very exciting, though. Again, a little reuse with the head and probably some of the flame effects, too. I'm guessing some of those might have even come from the Hell Charger um, that they might have had tooled up already. Um, but, yeah, excited to be getting Dan Ketch added to the line from Hasbro. Finally. Um, I will be very, very curious to see if this will bring it back around for another opportunity to get that Ghost Rider we missed out on from HasLab. Um, again... The gauges and the dials all look great. Nice little flame effect uh, behind there. You get the hubcap that powers them up. Just damn cool looking. Um, again, this flame effect uh, for the chain we've already seen. Uh, the big thing that they were talking about is he, they did give him the pennant stare uh, in his eye socket. So it does have that flaming spiral. It's really hard to see from here. Uh, but really cool to see it added in. And also a really nice update um, to the Ghost Rider figure. Uh, popping over to a two-pack uh, of the Heroes 4 Hire, one of my personal favorites. Um, we have Iron Fist, and of course, we have Power Man. Uh, that's right, Luke Cage and Danny Rand at their finest. Um, now you have a classic Iron Fist to go with that classic Luke Cage that came out uh, just recently, uh, about two waves ago. Oops. And now you also have a pseudo New Avengers um, era slash modern era uh, version of Luke Cage. Um, I say New Avengers because he's got the Luke Cage brass knucks. Um, pretty damn cool. Um, again, this Iron Fist is one that we've needed for a while. They've been doing the modern ones for a minute, which is exciting. Um, but uh, you can't beat that goofy collar. Um, very, very excited to get this one uh, back into the collection uh, with updated articulation scheme. Pinless at that. 
Um, again, very, very cool. Both have very mm, solemn uh, faces as well as screaming faces. So you have action and relax. Um, very, very cool. I believe these go up for pre-order next week. Um, Ghost Rider is at the end of the month. And some of the, I believe, Iron, or not Iron Spider, um, Superior Spider-Man, um, and we'll, we'll, we'll get to, and we'll, Superior Spider-Man and Wolverine go for pre-order tomorrow on Pulse. There we go. Uh, very, very excited for this. Um, I do like that they even included the little cage belt buckle. Um, damn cool looking. Moving over, we get a redux of Warbird. It's been years, uh, since we got a Warbird. Again, this is Captain Marvel. Before she was Captain Marvel, she was Warbird. Um, or Miss Marvel, depending on uh, the iteration. Again, it's Carol Danvers in her lightning bolt outfit. Uh, the last time we got this was in a three-pack with Radiation Man and Vision? I can't remember. Who was the third in that? Was it Vision? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but this is great. New, highly articulated female body. Um, very, very cool to see the update. And she looks fantastic. Again, the... Oh, blah, 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 blah. Alternate head sculpts look fantastic. Minor uh, energy effects that look great, too. Oh, it was Cap with a vest. Okay, I did not remember that. That's my bad. Um, so very, very excited to uh, get hands on a Warbird. Um, again, finishing off that George Perez character physique uh, run of uh, Avengers figures. Um, so this is pretty damn cool to add. Um, and again, it looks like we get uh, new upper thigh uh, sculpts with uh, boots. Um, looks like a paint deco hit right there. No sculpt there, but great new base body, too. Um, yeah, that's okay, though. Um, again, it would have been cool, but it's an easy one to avoid, I guess. Uh, moving over, we have Scar. Uh, apparently, this is going to be a deluxe figure. Um, big, beefy boy standing in and over eight inches tall. Um, there is that dagger that uh, we were teased with a couple weeks back. Um, I do note that it does have pins. Um, so I'm wondering how long they've had this one or, or we're holding on to this one uh, before they it actually released it. What's up, JJ? How's it going? Um, fantastic uh, sculpt, fantastic paint. I love the alternate heads. And you get the kind of windswept look as well as the hair down in the face look. Um, pretty damn cool. Oh, thanks, JJ. I appreciate you. Um, again, you can sheath his dagger in the back, but he also does come with that. Oh, giant Conan sword. Um, very, very cool. A very nice way of celebrating Marvel's 85 years by kind of throwing everybody off by doing kind of alternate versions of a lot of their core characters, which is fun. Um, I'm with you, Brian. Again, the, the legs are probably reused. It does look like uh, these arms are pinless. Also, it looks like it's jointless there, but that might just be a render. I don't know. Um, then popping over to Superior Spider-Man. Um, again, a figure that we got way, way long ago in a galaxy far, far away. Um, this one is actually accurate to the comics with its proper Waldo's backpack as well as arm gauntlets. Um, I went into business for myself and customized about a, two dozen of these back in the day uh, with a little 3D prints uh, from Spe or Shapeways uh, back in the day. Uh, very, very cool. Also comes with two alternate heads. One that has the deco hit on the eye to look like he's staring at buildings. And the other is just pure white. Um, here you see that backpack piece as well as the gauntlets, as well as the funky Otto Octavius uh, webbing pattern that only he rocked. Uh, there you have the Waldos. I will be curious to see if you can actually get him stood up with the Waldos like these. Um, very, very excited for this, though. This is a figure that's long been overdue for a uh, revisit or a revamp. Um, definitely something that I am also excited to see hit store shelves to get people asking questions about Superior Spider-Man again. It's a great figure or a great character that shouldn't be forgotten. Um, also comes with the clawed hands, which I believe are reuse from Spidey 2099. Um but damn efficient for Superior Spider-Man as he did shred the crap out of people. Uh, then popping over to the Astonishing X-Men Wolverine. Um, this one, looking great. New body, uh, new sculpt, looking fantastic. Oh, what is this? Dan uh, saying he had the photog make sure that the figure would stay in that pose for a few minutes before taking the picture. Oh, cool. I missed, I missed him saying that, but that's fantastic. Um, again, all new Wolverine sculpt, all new leaner, not leaner body, but new smaller body. 
I guess you can see uh, it has that new updated ab articulation like most of the figures have been having. Uh, looks like new hips, butterfly joints, as well as new chunkier claws for our favorite little Canadian. Um, this, of course, being his Astonishing X-Men costume, it would carry over into Civil War from one of my personal favorite runs on Wolverine uh, with Humberto Ramos uh, illustrating. So this is a must get for sure. I must still get Superior Octopus someday. Um, whoop, there we go. This is a great looking figure. Again, uh, Superior Spider-Man and Wolverine go up for order on Pulse tomorrow at 1 p.m. Um, also, interestingly enough, they included the yellow bands. Um, I've seen these as yellow. I've seen these as black. I've also seen them just not be on the costume. Um, I think it's a really nice pop of color to add to it, though. Um, but yeah, must get for me because, um, yeah, it's Astonishing X-Men. It's that Ramos run. It's also the Enemy of the State run. Um, just so, 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 so many fantastic story arcs in this costume. I was looking, and I think Scar might be built on the Drax body. That would make sense. I mean, both big, chunky boys, so that would be a good fucking eyes, Jamie Lynn. Well done. Um, this rules. There's the mm, McFarlane figures that I was trying to get to earlier. Again, the likenesses are kind of there. They kind of just look like people dressed up as Neo and Trinity. Um, but again, coming to your Movie Maniacs line soon. Goodlum says, poor Robo. Why poor Robo? He loves Astonishing X-Men. Um, going to have to grab Wolverine and Superior, uh, as, as am I. Um, popping over to Jack Pacific, uh, releasing a bevy of Simpsons merch, um, including the Krusty Doll, evil Krusty Doll, depending on how you look at it or which way you have it switched, a prank phone call, or a prank phone, uh, from Moe's, as well as a playset and some base figures. I don't understand how the figures for the Matrix from 20 years ago look better. I don't know. N2 Toys killed it, and then earlier McFarlane figures killed it. That's what bothers me. Todd's done these before. Um, popping over, this is the uh, the Simpsons Home playset. Um, if you switch it around, it actually has the whole facade out front, a giant oversized TV, and a little action feature down here um, for whichever figures you want to chase each other around. That really, yeah, a little bit. Um, but again, Jack Specific doing what Super 7 couldn't. We get the whole family in one go, along with the pets. Um, God, I would have loved to have seen Super 7 be able to knock these out. Um, of course, these are going to be way more affordable. Um, Joe, I'm with you. Also, hi, Joe. Um, and yes, you will need that Krusty doll. Again, these are all in scale with one another, which is fantastic. When you get the house, you do get Homer Simpson. Again, it is just a facade that rotates around, and then you have the living room with the TV playset. Uh, Hoodlum says, all those customs, I hate it when I do a custom, and then the character pops up. Yeah. Um, again, it has a little action feature so that you can put your figures on and they can chase each other. Not something that I remember often happening in the Simpsons household, but there you go. These are the two and a half inch versions. They're going to be a whole larger kind. Yeah, um, they, they, they're kind of world of Nintendo, world of Springfield. I guess they can't use that. World of Simpsons toy line in more of the five inch uh, scale. Um, these are the smaller ones that come with the house playset, but again, these are new ones that have been haven't been shown off before, uh, so pretty dang cool. Uh, it really does, Jamie Lynn. Uh, yeah, so here is the evil Krusty doll. Includes fourteen phrases. It does have the evil and good switch and an actual functioning uh, drawstring, which is pretty dang cool. Um, there is the Moe's Tavern phone. Again, you press it, and it actually will do the call, and you get a ha ha moment out of it. So that's pretty fun. Also, Jamie Lynn, with them looking very similar to the old Playmates line, I can only hope so, because that toy line was a, that was a standard bearer for Simpsons toys. They produced so many characters. Um, I am excited that these will apparently have slightly more articulation, um, but at the same time, I'm not looking for dynamic posing in my Simpsons figures, I guess. Uh, that most phone is tempting. Uh, understandable. I'm kind of tempted to get one and put it under glass and have it be the uh, bat phone. Um, also, they announced a Simpsons Advent Calendar. Uh, this will come with a bunch of miscellaneous PVC figures from all your favorite holiday Simpsons moments. Uh, there is the box, or proposed box. This is the Collector's Club drawing board uh, from McFarlane Toys uh, that we talked about earlier. Uh, then over to Haya Toys. Um, this is that McCoy figure that we saw in Grayscale Prototype a while back, this time with soft goods, as well as a fully painted, fully printed head. 
Um, again, Carl Urban uh, playing the role of Bones um, or Dr. McCoy. Um, very excited to see uh, these actually seeing production. Um, I love this movie franchise, so it's kind of exciting to see this hitting. Again, it comes with everything that they showed off with the initial uh, grayscale prototype. You get a couple alternate heads, a bevy of hands, a couple uh, medical pieces of equipment, as well as his phaser and tricorder, as well as has a little bit of courage. Um, all right, there's the TNA figures. Told you I'd get back around to them. Um, again, these are coming from Powertown Wrestling. Um, so highly articulated figures, but they come at a price. These are premium figures. They stand technically close to the seven inch scale. Um, they do come with, uh, soft goods, plastic goods, all that stuff. Uh, premium deco hits, uh, all new head sculpts. Uh, these are going to be running $49.99 a piece. Um, or you can order the full set of four for $189.99, uh, going up for pre-order, I believe today, actually. Um, Josh Alexander looking fantastic, uh, again, with all his deco hits for his tattoos. He also comes with his dry fit shirt that he wears in a lot of his promos, uh, as well as his wrestling gear headset, uh, Moose with his soft goods robe, uh, and his side cape of the TNA logo, um, as well as his bevy of tattoo hits and everything. Um, absolutely stunning. Um, comes with an amazing title belt as well. Again. These are ultras, and they come with a heavy price. Um, I am hoping that... Uh, no, you didn't, Brian. I'm, I'm getting around to that because I'm just going to go live to their uh, Kickstarter because I figured that'd be easier than me trying to grab images and stuff. Um, yeah, again, $49.99. You, you pay what you get for. Um, I've gotten to handle a couple of Powertown Wrestling figures. If you are a wrestling figure fan, these are going to be worth the price. Uh, they're still $5 cheaper than Super 7s were out the gate, too, uh, which is nuts. But, uh, yeah, these uh, are shooting for, I believe, to come out uh, at the end of this year, too. Um, very excited to see a few of these guys get figures, too. Um, gotten to work with them in the past, doing graphics and stuff. So, pretty dang cool, man, as a wise man once said. Uh, then popping over to Bandai, uh, Bandai and Ev Neon Genesis Evangelion doing a crossover. We have 01 and 02 here. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're redecoed Mecha Godzillas. They're neat looking. Um, they're going to be running about $45 each. They stand at six and a half inches tall, um, available for pre-order right now. Um, and yeah, that's about all I have. Again, um, all of these things are going up for pre-order pretty, pretty soon. Um, I don't know. Do you guys want me to start providing the links to pre-orders down in the video description? Or do you guys just like me kind of winging it? Um, please let me know. Um, I'm going to pop over to... There we go. Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. Not feeling good about the AWOC. Big boys getting unlocked. Hopefully in the bag kit. Man, we can hope. Um, let's remove this real quick. Boop, 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 boop. So let's do this. Stop screen. Print. Share screen. Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. Uh, so we'll scroll on down. They've been making insane progress. They are at 27605 currently. Um, those Mecha Godzillas look better than the Neon Genesis Evangelion anime itself. Uh, I like Neon Genesis Evangelion back in the day. Um, the new ones, not as much, but I'm just I'm just an old soul. Um, so when last we left off, I believe, uh, no, where is it? We were past Mala. I think we were to the alternate heads, um, was the last thing that we had covered on here. Um, again, they are still cooking through and moving forward with a lot of these figures. Um, a lot of these are the alternate heads, um, that we're getting unlocked currently. Um, there is a ton more to get unlocked, um, I'd, I'd be for it. Um, it would be great to see some of these hit. Again, um, we have uh, Meryl, who I believe is the next to be unlocked. Coming back down. Man, there's a lot. Holy crap. Um, yeah, so Meryl is the next uh, to be unlocked. Uh, we just unlocked Raving or Raving. Um, Meryl will be next. 
Uh, I would be stoked to see if we get to scathing. Um, no, no sleep till mom. Yeah, I mean, they still do have a ways to go. Again, you have more weapon sets. Uh, you have more alternate heads. I mean, to get to Brutox, you're at 380. That's over $100,000 more uh, to get to. Uh, I want to see many of these, and I don't have any. I need a new job and a bigger house. Fair. You'll need an even bigger house if you get into General Mamba. Um, again, if anybody can do it, Spiro Toys can. Um, between Spiro Toys and Plunderlings, uh, you have two of probably the absolute best uh, independent toy makers out there right now as far as quality. Um, so I really, really hope uh, people kind of get into it and keep keep building this brand. Um, again, there's 33 hours to go, so a little over a day. Fingers crossed. I don't know if they'll hit those incredible um, stretch goals, but a guy can dream. Um, I hope they do. I hope they hit every single one of them because, again, they produce fantastic uh, quality figures. And if they don't hit those stretch goals, I hope we get to see some of those figures either in a future Kickstarter or we get to see them as future releases down the line. Um, Mamba may just have to live in the shed. Mamba would be the shed, Brian. Um, yeah, that's what we got uh, for toy news this week. Um, again, uh, I'm sorry, trying to catch up with my brain uh, a little off tonight, but that's okay. It'll get better. Again, tomorrow night, Chop and Shop. Uh, we got Dr. Frank and Denim returning. That's right. Steve Kanicki coming back to hang out with myself and a few other fine folks. Uh, Wednesday night, gripping and Ripping going to be a good time. Griff Riffs on Thursday. Friday, I head back up to Fargo for Fargo Pop Expo. Uh, I'll be up there all weekend hanging out with John Bivens, Elliot Rahal, Travis Bentley, and Dirk Benedict. Uh, that's right, face uh, from the A-Team. So it's going to be a weird, wild weekend, uh, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, hopefully, I can get some rest before then and get some good food in me. But uh, yeah, Josh Brown says, but we have, what, four or five new books unlocked? That's a lot of character options to open up. Oh, hell yeah, Josh. I'm, I'm with you on that. Mitch Falcon says they have cast they have cast Shadow the Hedgehog in Sonic 3. They have, and it's Keanu Reeves. Uh, very interesting to see where that goes. I've actually really enjoyed the first two Sonic movies. So let's see where three goes. Um, indeed, Northern Nomad. That's right. It's Starbuck. Um, I'll always remember him as face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, whoa. Joe Johnson says, whoa. Um, Forgiven Bro says, instead of Selects Juggernaut and Pillow, use Thane or the Elephant as a weapon. Yeah, no kidding. I have Thane right over there. Hoodlums, I, I'm already on the mend. Uh, like I said, I'm finally able to hold down food, and that's that's a great feat at the moment. So I am probably going to hop off here and pass the F out. Um, but uh, Brian W says, egg drop soup, usually the best mild soup after being sick. Um, I'm, I'm just going for food that stays in right now. So I appreciate each and every one of you for your concern. Uh, I am on the mend. It's going to be a good time. Uh, Phantom Crow says, doesn't the knuckle series start this month? Uh, I think may not positive, but, uh, yeah, tomorrow night, chop and shop, swing back by. I'll be over on the Patreon exclusive discord afterwards for probably about a half hour with some folks. Uh, it's going to be good. Uh, I'm excited. For the week ahead um thank you as always for being a part of the conversation coj uh much love to mitch falcon for being the mod with the most um speaking of soup new mini food toys at five below noted uh oh thank you thank you yeah it happens joe um i'll talk to you soon actually i got some questions uh for the next articulated um i don't eat the nuggies outside of streams anymore man uh, but I'll catch you all next time. I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. As always, be good, be kind. Much love from Minnesota.